605, while some courthouses in North Alabama prepare to reopen, others, like the one in Madison County, have recently reopened their doors, but they're still operating under what's now known as a new normal. And district attorneys are still having to deal with financial setbacks all across the state because of the coronavirus. Joining us right now via Zoom is Madison County District Attorney Rob Broussard. Rob, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. The courthouse reopened this week, but things just aren't the same as what they were before this coronavirus pandemic. So what's it like in the, in the courtroom now? Well, I'll tell you what, it is a, a vastly different building. If you walk in the courthouse right now, it's nothing like normal operating. And as far as the courtrooms go, it's, they're really pretty much shut down because of the social distancing and, and those kind of measures. It's, it's a different place right now. Let's talk about how the, pa the pandemic has affected your office financially. Uh, any setbacks as far as that's concerned for you? Yeah, and that part of it, Pat, that's, that's very real. The public probably doesn't know, but even though we're a state agency, probably half our budget is generated outside the legislature, outside the state appropriations, and most of that is driven with court cost type measures. So in other words, if the courts are shut down, there's certain revenue generating programs that are, that are stuck in the mud, so to speak. So, so right now we, we are definitely feeling the effects of the court system not up and running. Let's talk about those criminal cases. Have you had to put off any criminal felony cases or any major ones of note? Yeah, honestly, Marie, it's right now, nothing is happening. But, but let me tell you the good news in that. If you look at the criminal justice system, it by definition is a system that is always lagging behind. You think of any murder that occurs, when is that case actually going to be tried? And you're probably talking two years down the line. So with this bump in the road, maybe you're talking two years and three months. So that, that part of it is not that crucial. But I, but I will say that, that our main concern is to make sure certain folks who need to be in jail are in jail. And if there's individuals that, that legitimately need to be out of jail, we're, we're working with that. Luckily, we have a great sheriff here in town, Sheriff Kevin Turner, and he's, he's doing a bang up job on that. We're talking to Madison County District Attorney Rob Broussard via Zoom this morning. Rob, let's talk a little bit about enforcement of the current state health order. Now, Huntsville Mayor ba uh, uh, Tommy Battle <clears throat> turned over some photos, what appears to be two establishments who served customers indoors a few days back. And he turned it over to the city attorney's office. So give us an idea of what could happen next there. Yeah, and, and look, honestly, I know it's a health concern, but as far as law enforcement goes, it's, it's not... It's, it's not a terrible occurrence. It, it's another misdemeanor, truthfully, in the, in the hundreds of misdemeanors. Probably the city attorney's office, the, the folks who violated the order are gonna have a court date once courts get up running, and then they'll go in front of the city judge and, and they'll get it sorted out. I'm, I'm not minimizing it in any way, but I'm saying as far as how it affects the justice system, the criminal justice system, it's another misdemeanor. As far as the health concerns, I'll leave that to other folks to debate that issue. And we'll see how it all plays out. In the meantime, we really appreciate your time joining us this morning, Madison County District Attorney Rob Broussard. Thanks for being here. Yes, sir. Thank you. We appreciate you. It is 6.09 on your Thursday morning.